Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do Blender renders, but in Unity. If you don't know what Blender renders are, it's basically where you import your VRChat avatar into Blender, and then by using Blender, you're able to render these really high quality and really sharp images of your avatar. Now I have made a video on this, so you can go check it out if you want. But today I'm going to be showing you how to pull off that same effect just in Unity. If you have a lot of assets on your avatar, you probably know that it's a pain to get all the assets and put them together for this blender render the quality is not the same but overall idea it's there so just a thing to know before we start this is all done in play mode so if you hit this play mode here and then go back on the scene make sure you don't have any cameras around you want to use this main camera here just an FYI everything that you do while you're in play mode is not going to be saved so you can move around platform, you can put platforms, you can use blend shapes on your avatar, you can uh, toggle on clothing, whatever you want. But the second you press on play, all of that is going to be reversed. So keep that in mind. So what I usually do is you would focus on this camera icon here, and then you can either move the camera all the way to the left or all the way to the right. Moving it all the way to the right looks very goofy. So usually I stick with the lowest FOV, because that gives it kind of like the 2, 2D toony vibe. Now you can play around with this and do basically whatever you want. You can as well add lights so that you have some either different colored lighting. How you would add a light is you just want to right click in an empty area and you're going to see light here. Now, of course, depending on your picture, you can go ahead and change these. You can change its color right here. The intensity is right here. I wouldn't go above 20. I think anything above 20 would be too much. And of course here you can pick between spot, directional, point and area, but it's baked only. As I said earlier, you can toggle on blend shapes by clicking on your avatar so you can have facial expressions and you can move around your bones. How you do that is you would locate the bone of let's say your shoulder and by using this tool here, uh, just basically play around, rotate the camera, and ba that's basically it. If you're just looking for a simple uh, profile picture of your avatar, I would definitely suggest adding a plane in the background like this, and then give it some face expressions, move the arms down so they're at least not in T-pose, and then, you know, put on a, just pick a what, what side you want, and then just do the render. Now, the way you actually do the render is kind of cursed. You just basically take a screenshot of your actual uh, screen of your Unity. Now, if there's actually a way to pull off how what your camera sees from Unity, I have no clue. If somebody does know how to do that, definitely let me know down in the comment section. And now, as you can see, when I do go back out of play mode, my camera is back. And this, you just want to move to like 47, 48. That's like the default state. I really hope that this tutorial helped you out. Let me know down in the comments what you think. And yeah, I'll see you around. Peace.